pulled off the Dodge Pace car off the track, watching from the flag stand. Green flag coming very, very soon. Green flag up for underway. Cayuga, Ontario, Canada. We are under caution on lap 39. It's a uh, spin by number two, Scott Speed, up in the cor corner number two, Don. Put the hood up on the loft of Cattle Dodge. Then they didn't like what they saw, apparently. Backed it up, and it's behind pit wall. The guy who led here early on, our Paul Sitter, who was running second at the time, is now behind pit wall, so they're going to work on it there. Shelter, your leader, with Tom Hester the third, all over Shelter, and now he taps the leader. Taps the leader's in trouble and sideways off turn Delta. two. Delta. Wow. Down inside Caution on the, on the speedway. Wow, this will not go over well with Patrick Shelter. I can assure you, oh, not yet. He's trying to get back in traffic, and wow. has spun down in the inside. All guy are heading for He spun, spins. Wow. We've got caution on the race track. Justin Allgaier trying to get his race car turned in the right direction. Stop, stop, stop. Well, they're working big time on it. They've already got right side tires on, going to work on the left side. This is where they're going to probably have to get in the hurry up mode because the field with this car in front is coming up in turn four right now. Not to speed up pit lane. The you couldn't help that, Judge. Just heard all. Be yourself. You can stop. Justin Allgaier inside of Dexter Bean. Racing back again. Matt Carter all over the rear end of Ricky Stenhouse. Stenhouse Whoa. goes low. And Matt Carter goes up high all the way up to the wall. Matt Carter loses about five spots. Wow. Yo is back out on the racetrack. What happened? Mike, I'm not sure that all going to work on the front end of that machine. In fact, are they they're, they're putting racing, the hood up. putting the hood up on the 32 of James Busher, who has been a factor all afternoon. He was posted in the fourth position, but I see some steam pouring from under the bonnet there. So problems for James Busher on pit road. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, we're coming to green, Steve, this time by. That's your top five as we are under caution here at Cayuga. They're stacked up big time, off turn four. Well, he got underneath him a little bit there, saw that he wasn't going to be able to get by him, backed off as we head to turn two. Once oh! again, he turns him around. He gets into the back wow. of Ken Butler. Butler is into the outside wall in turn one. Scanner, scanner. We're on the caution. Well, I want to hear what the 22 has to say about that one.
Dexter Bean taking the charge from the 16. Allgaier inside of Dexter Bean makes the pass. Stick off turn two. Allgaier looking for race leader Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Coming down towards the front straight. Justin Allgaier oh, all over the Trouble, back trouble in turn four. Michael Phelps is sideways and in the grass. No caution, no caution as he's yet. Not the lapped car, and man, he was got booted down there. But man, oh man, and the caution stayed out. The battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Patrick Shelter, Tom Hedrick the third, Matt Carter, and Pete Shepard all stacked up and racing hard. Shepard now inside of the 46 of Matt Carter. They're side by side. Meanwhile, Hessert working off the back door of the 60. Tom Hesser did come down pit lane. They gave him a stop and go. He's back out on the racetrack, so just a stop and go penalty for Tom Hesser. Stenhouse has a fender inside of the 99 and three and four. They are side by side. Kimmel will march through as well to the inside. Allgaier Kimmel past the 99 of Stenhouse. We have a new leader. Ricky Stenhouse goes from one to three in one corner. Wow. He's beginning to feel the heat from the Glock racing entry of Dexter Bean working off the tailgate of the 99 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Oh, Sheltra! He was headed that way as Sheltra does a slide job down the front stretch. He had his car sideways all the way down the front stretch and has come to a grinding halt here towards turn one. Caution back out. Justin Allgaier, Frank Kimmel, your top two contenders, Ricky Stenhouse is third, here we go. They're at the turn one, and Justin Allgaier again gets a good lead off of Frank Kimmel as he comes out to about a four car lead as they hit the back straight. Anything at all for the 16 car, it would be a good plan to get it out now, right now. Oh, trouble! Dexter Bean is around in turn four, right in front of the leaders. Dexter Bean able to keep it going. Wow. He did the full 360, came back around, and he's got that car back under power again. Pete Shepard was uh, right behind him. We are going to have another restart. We'll see whether or not Justin Allgaier is going to be able to get out to the big lead from, from Kimmel again. And Hessert working on Scott Speed for that seventh position. So lots of racing further back. Terry Jones has turned it around wow. up in turn two. Yellow is out on lap 245. No, Justin didn't want to see that. Nope. The Dodge pace car pulls off, looking for the green flag, this time by Justin Allgaier. For now, in control. Green flag in the air. Two laps to go at Cayuga. And Allgaier takes a two-car length lead. Go the first turn. Doesn't look like Kimmel's got much more, but it's... Of the day from that 44 car, Kimmel as they come down to four, white flag is being shown. Already in the air, Allgaier safely working his way off turn two, is not holding back with his foot mashed on the gas. He has increased his vantage to nearly ten lengths in three and four. One more time, Justin Allgaier, the Springfield, Illinois driver, is the first ever winner at Cayuga. Our congratulations to him. Wow. <laughs> Did I miss something? Ah, uh, Frank Kimmel in second. The 99 of Ricky Help Stenhouse me. Jr. comes in third. The 37 of Dexter Bean shows in fourth place. By the way, I promise I won't do a burnout, I swear. Did you hear that? <laughs> See, they, the, the Allgaier just came on the radio and said to his dad, don't worry, I won't do a burnout, I swear. You know why? Because they need that motor. That's not the Roush Fenway team with all kinds of money. They are a family-owned operation out of Springfield, Illinois, and he won't do a burnout because he needs the engine for the next ride. fastest lap was that last lap. His fastest lap of the day, the last lap. I'll tell you what, today uh, coming into this race, you know, we felt like we had a really good car. We worked really hard in practice to, to make sure that we had a really good car. We ran a lot of laps. Larry Moore, my crew chief, and I spent all day yesterday just trying to make sure the car was good on long runs. And 
to come out of here with a victory. I mean, you know, we, we felt like we let something get away on and get in the pole. And, uh, you know, I got to thank God because he, uh, he he gave me the strength to do those last couple laps. It was it was pretty hairy, and, and all these guys on the crew, excellent pit stops. You know, just, just a great day all around, and, and I'm not going to complain one bit.